she ain't gonna do it, y'all. Ain't no way. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. We got a UDY video. It's gonna be fire, okay. Well, she cheated on her boyfriend with a millionaire. I'm like, she ain't gonna do it. She ain't gonna do it, bro. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure y'all send me some more videos in the comment section below so I can tune in and watch the little videos and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Send me some uh, funny videos. That'd be good, you feel me? I I let go. UDY, thanks for the video. Today we're placing Chris's girlfriend, Ari, to the test. The test is gonna be taking place here at this beautiful home nice in Hollywood pet. Hills. Chris's job is to bring his girlfriend here, and Tony's job is to test for loyalty. Chris, do you think that your girlfriend will trade you for a more successful guy? Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> but how about we give her a call though, make sure that she's even still down to come. Is Chris's girlfriend a gold digger? Today we set up an elaborate test to help him find out. Hey, babe. How you doing? Just woke up? No, I just got done walking my life. Okay, cool. Uh, I was just want to make sure that you're still cool with in the room today. Check it out. Yeah, I'm still down. Uh, I'll come pick you up like an hour, so. See you later. Chris has convinced his girlfriend Ari to come check out a spare. Chris, you need a case for your phone. I see all them scratches and all that stuff on your phone. Wait, wait, put the case on that thing. It'd be, I know it'll be sliding. Mm -hmm, it's the material. Put a case on it. The bedroom in this home. You see, Tony is pretending to be Chris's friend that lives here who is ready to rent out the room. This is the bedroom that Tony's going to be offering you. Remember, Chris, in this room, you got to act broke. Okay? You're basically the antithesis of this man here. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you have to go for the test? I just want to make sure she's loyal. I want to take your relationship to the next step. She has all these guys in her DMs. Let's see how easy I am to be like so. Hopefully not that easy, bro. Hopefully not that easy. That's why I want to do this test because uh, she really loves me for me and doesn't let the finances get in the way. You don't have time to waste, bro, with somebody who just wants to use you for what you can give them. Chris has told his girlfriend that he's willing to move into Tony's spare bedroom, but he supposedly wants her opinion on the place yeah, first. After advice. going over our plan one last and final time, we sent him on his way to retrieve her. Appreciate it. All righty, Chris. Yeah, we'll see ya. All that was left All to do right. now was set everything up and send him to Starbucks, or in his role later. I wanted to be set up in this room because of that, guys. We get a view of the Hollywood sign. How beautiful is that? My girlfriend, she likes a lot of modern things in life. She has expensive taste, sure. and I'm not financially kind of like stable at the moment due to my work. Would you say that you're striving to like yeah. make more money of course, or whatever? Of course, um, I just want to give her a great life. You hear that? You want to give her the best? It's like, that's beautiful, bro. You want to make sure that she's really in the corner. You only want to ride with somebody who's really down for you, so we're in this together, bro. Man, good job. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got a text message. Perfect. Ten minutes out. After waiting for almost an hour, Chris was finally ten minutes away. We were behind schedule, but nonetheless, this test was a go. Okay. Yo, yo, what's good? Here we go. Tony's receiving a call. All right, bro. I'm coming out. No, you straight, bro. Coming to the top of the drive, man. Chris had arrived, and as planned, he parked at the end of the drive so that he could walk up with Ari. We wanted her to take in the house and the view. Chris has successfully brought his girlfriend over. Perfect. Our plan is in full swing now. Mm. What up? What up, brody? My God. Nice to meet you, Ari. I think she's honestly going to love the view of the Hollywood sign. You like the crib so far? Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. Uh, the inside is way better. Big dumb. Big dumb. Just take it in. Look at the spot. I'll give you a tour. And, you know, hey, yeah, come this way. Personally, I didn't design it. I picked out some stuff I liked. I, I had an interior designer help me with most of it for real, for real. Okay. We got a laundry room right here. Tony begins showing off his immaculate home. He will spend the next 20 to 30 minutes giving the couple a tour. Okay. This is the living room. What you think? Yeah, this view go crazy, bro. Uh, here, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. Let me show you back here. Before showing off the view, Tony shows off the rest of the house. This will take a minute, but we want... It's nice. Uh, nice artwork. All the rooms comfy. Ooh, yeah. Gotta have one of the first covers. Gotta have, ooh, all the white. Mmm, everything good. Okay. Nice. ...to demonstrate Tony's wealth and, of course, make floors. everything believable to Ari. I like eating floors. Let's check it on Ken. He's been at Starbucks for quite some time now. Here, come on. If you go crazy, bro. Is this a pool? Yeah, there's a little infinity pool hey, over there. I got there. a pool out here, too? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. How you doing? You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting kind of bored here. I feel like you have time to watch a movie or jump on Netflix or something. Yeah, I want to watch the show on Netflix, but let me be honest. The reception out here is pretty bad. And I don't want to connect to the public Wi-Fi. Do you not have ExpressVPN, bro? What's ExpressVPN? Oh, God. Every time I'm out... <laughs> 
You need to see it at sunset, though, bro. That's when it's the prettiest. Another cool thing about ExpressVPN is that it lets you change your online location. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. UDY, get back to it. Say this part for last. This is not the biggest room, but it's still pretty nice. This would be you if you move in, bro. Yeah, this is you. Nah, bro. I just got her furnished. The whole house furnished. The interior designer was doing her thing. I let her do it. Tony finally showed off his quote unquote spare room. This bathroom's a little bit bigger though, for real. And the one in the middle is a full dressing. And anything you don't like, we can throw out, get rid of it, it's straight. It was finally time to start building Chris's excuse to exit the scene. Step one, offer him the room and a job. Look, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Feel free. I'll pay 15K a month, I'm not gonna cry. It's not, it's not cheap. Just talk to me real quick. We might be able to work something out. What's your budget? Right now, I'm paying $1,000 a month for, uh, I can do, uh, 1200 You got any time off from your job or days off or anything? Yeah, I have days off. I was telling you I need an assistant. Okay. If you can come through, I can get a room for 1000 you know, this room for a thousand dollars. You my boy, bro. I'm looking out. Yeah. Bro, I need you for a hundred for real. If you promise you got me anything I need done, I need you to go get me my coffee. You feel me? I got these drop offs for Amazon returns. Like, <laughs> man, be serious. Do it, man. Bad, I guess the only question is when you want to move in. First of all. If anything changes, if I come earlier, I'll let you know soon. This is good. Everything is going as planned so far. This is great. But uh, what y'all got going on for the rest of the day? Right now, they're selling the dream. <clears throat> this is what most of the girls be scared of, the manipulation. Selling these dreams. It sound good, but then it don't be what it's supposed to be. All right. Uh, Not bad. You trying to kick it? Yeah. Step two. Offer to kick it and order some coffee. I think I might get some coffee or something. Either of you want some Starbucks? Yeah, I can do some coffee. Uh, do you want some coffee? Yeah, I'm gonna probably just door dash you. Just text me your order. Okay. Chris texts Tony to Starbucks order. What Ari doesn't know is rather than ordering from DoorDash, Tony forwards the message to Ken. Time to make like two pain and buy you a drink. I think I'm gonna do a video when he gets here. Have you guys seen those like videos where they tip the delivery dude a bunch of money for no reason? Yeah. Did I get a one caramel macchiato? Extra high, what size? Step three, get to know about Ari's TikTok page. Do you post or are you one of those people who just be watching? No, I'm content. Okay, okay, what kind of content? Like fashion models, What's your page? Ari does try-ons on TikTok and she's gotten quite popular. Tony will use this information to make his move. Okay, I see you missed 13,000 followers. You pop it. Feel like you could go far with this. Make sure you post them on YouTube, because, yeah, and Rumble, you get, you get your money You're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Multiple source and con, make sure you do that thing. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about doing any other type of content? Like makeup tutorials or anything? I don't know. Mm -hmm. She said that's not her thing. I just like trying stuff for I do some content myself. Yeah, mainly live streaming and stuff. Step four, make Ari believe Tony is a successful live streamer, which explains why he needs an assistant. A lot of the time I just uh, do like reaction videos, talk to the camera. People love that <laughs> Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, that's funny because that's what I'm going right now. <laughs> Between 10, 20,000 viewers on any live, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get my TikTok like yours for real. Maybe you could give me some pointers. We could collab on a video or something. For real? I bet we'll talk about it a little later. Step five. After waiting 20 minutes or so for the coffee to arrive, tip the delivery driver and record it. Here comes Ken. <laughs> All right, guys. We about to surprise the delivery driver. Thank you for this. Yeah, of course. All right. And then I got something for you, bro. What is this, social media? This is yours. Take all of it. All of it? All of it. Are you serious? I'm dead ass. Oh my God. That's you. Wait, are, are you sure? Somebody had to get blessed today, and it just so happened to be you. We're giving out blessings today. Can I give you a hug? Of course. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Tony took ten a thousand dollars, or at least that's what we made Ari think. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, bro. When you get a lot, you gotta give a lot. You feel me? Tony will soon come to regret this thousand dollar tip. Step six: Notice the drinks are in. 
you know, thousand, you can buy some blend seeds. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't really do much with a thousand. I ain't gonna lie to you. You pay somebody rent, you know, can't really do too much. Ten bands, you added extra zero to that motherfucker. Now, now, now you got a little motion going on. Mm. Correct. Those aren't the right drinks. No, Bro, you lying. <laughs> what Ari doesn't time. know is that Ken placed two orders. The first is what the trio actually uh, ordered, and the second okay. are just three random drinks. Okay, I mean, okay. he's, he's still dying for sure, bro. <laughs> This now takes us to step seven. Be able to get a hold of the delivery driver. Straight your voice now. <laughs> No, I, I mean, yes, but I just paid dude a thousand dollars and he for real just gonna blow me off like that? I'm not worried about the video, it's the principle. And finally, step eight. Chris will offer to replace the drinks. It's like 10, 15 minutes. Man, I'm just going to go. The star was completely gone. Shane, he's going to bed. Take care. No. No. That's what he's worried about. You just gotta do all that, bro. You did got the video, you're gonna get your views. We at least get the drinks right. We can do that, right? I hear you, but if that's the case, we all might as well just go. No. Nah. Look, I'm gonna be your sister, right? True, 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 true. Okay, yeah, but look, you gotta trust me. You gotta let me do my thing. You gotta it's do not that I don't trust you, bro. I know you can do your thing with switching some coffee. Look, what I'm saying is, if I have you there, what's the point of me? Sit here. Okay. Let me go take the coffee back. It's only gonna take me like 20 minutes. It's not gonna take that long. Hey, by the time we're going to be trying to call him back, I'm already going to be there. I mean, I got to let you spread your wings. <laughs> That's what you want to do, right? Look, let them know that they need to double check their orders better. Did y'all know that really? I texted them twice. They don't even say delivered. I called them three times. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was going straight to voice. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Relax, don't be real fast. He's going to take care of you. I know, but that's what I was thinking too. You know, it's kind of my new job now. So I won't hang with him. It's going to be fine. I'm going to take care of you. Look, it's fine. You can chill here with me. Alright. Maybe he's rambling. We set Chris up to make a quick, clean, and smooth exit, but his nerves and anxiety definitely got to him and almost jeopardized the mission. Alright. Okay. Mission accomplished, but this is awkward. Okay. I guess he really just left. I guess so. <laughs> He's a good guy, for real. Probably gonna be the great assistant. Hey, man. You good? Okay. I don't know. You're not sorry you left, you are you? Oh, it's just weird. I don't know why I'm here. to feel responsible, I guess. You feel me? I don't know. Yes. Mm. <laughs> He'll be back in like 20 minutes. It's straight. Oh, if you want, we could go upstairs. I'm gonna check out the view again. Sure. Oh, man. Ladies first. Yeah. The stream does well, though, so it pays for itself. What? For the most part, Ken has been outside this entire time, and in a couple of minutes, he's gonna be sneaking Chris back in. Yeah, well, I'm saying. They made that in one video. Y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know. Is that like downtown? That's the city. I don't, I'm not sure. You're not from here? I'm not. All of this downtown LA. Right, right, say right I'm just happy to be out here. We set Tony up with the perfect scenario to make his move. There's your headphone right there. The moment of truth has finally arrived. I was being serious about TikTok and, you know, doing something together. Maybe we could work on something. I told you, like, I'm new to this, so, like, I have my account for a couple of years, but mm -hmm. only in like five or six days after holding hogs. How many videos do you think it takes people to get a thousand followers usually? Okay, true. Exactly. You got a perspective. I told you, you got a lot of potential. I hope so. I'm trying to get like you with this big ass house. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand dollars, that's nothing. No, no. It ain't it's, nothing. it's definitely something. You know, originally. It definitely ain't nothing. I told y'all the Matrix, bro. Thousand dollars with that. They don't even. There's so much you can do with that. Like what? That's the reason why nine to five don't work. You know what I'm saying? Unless you stick to one, and, and unless you be frugal with your money, otherwise it ain't gonna work. 
what I'm saying? You have to have multiple sources of income because a thousand ain't gonna work. You need five, you need 10, you need 15, you need 20. You know what I'm saying? You see 30 in that account, you see 50 in that account, now you see 75 in that account, now you got 250 in that account, now you got 500 in that account. Man, you're gonna feel like heaven on earth, man. Save that money. That'd be the problem. It ain't that you know, we all get money. Law of attraction, it come to us. You know what I'm saying? We all get it, but people don't know how to save it. Save that money, man, for sure. You want to see a billion in that account. You want to see a trillion in that account. Save that money for sure. You know what I'm saying? And then once you once you get that hundred million in that account, now you give back. Now you can get a thousand. Now you can get ten thousand, twenty thousand, and it's nothing. It's nothing. Literally nothing. Paper. Come this way. I wanted to make this a content house. Yeah, you Don't know what that is, it. right? The plan was to get the crib, move a bunch of people in, and just go dumb shooting. I mean, I don't know if I want to live with a bunch of people. <laughs> you might be right. Facts. You might be right, honestly. Might need to let you move in here. Oh. Oh. Who's playing? I'm so scared. I don't have my here about a month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know if I can have you and your man both living here. Oh. It can be a little bit crowded sometimes. I mean, imagine the content you can make here, though. You got the nice little pool. You could do bikini hauls and different beach outfits. You know what I mean? That would be yeah, cute. You know, with the Hollywood sign right here in the background. But I mean, look. I don't think so. How don't you know? You can oh, gosh. You know what's here? I don't know, for real. Uh, yes, it does. She just lied. She just lied. Be like, yeah, it does. Or no, it oh, does. my God. Oh. I'll get you a jacket. Tony grabs Ari his jacket. He yeah, takes advantage up. of his kind gesture and finally makes his move. And I'll be honest for a second. I think Chris is a great guy and all, but I don't think he deserves you. I don't. I'm clearly out of his league. <laughs> you know I said don't talk about other guys. He don't deserve her. Or, I mean, that doesn't make sense, right? So more so, of you just think she deserves a little bit more and, and better stuff and like that. You mean, she, she deserves a little bit more quality stuff. She deserves to be in the castle, not just a house. You know what I'm saying? That's what you mean. Which we all do. You know what I'm saying? Like we all deserve better, obviously, right? Honestly, I find you super attractive myself. I'd love the opportunity to take you out sometime. I got a man. I know. And? What do you mean, and? And I'm telling you that clearly, he doesn't deserve you. He's a nice guy and all, but I feel like you could do better. I don't think he knows what to do with you. And I'd like to show you that. So we go on a date sometime, and afterward, we can go to the Gucci store or something, get you something nice. No dudes is lining up to get at you every day. Yeah, but you're, you're your friend. Y'all are boy. You got to move in. Not if you move in first. You're willing to do your boy dirty like that? For you. Because <laughs> people will do that. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, why though? You know, leave a man dirty like that. Clearly, you're worth it. I'm worth it? A thousand percent. What's so funny? How's up? Well, for one, you're beautiful. That goes without saying. You cute. I'm cute. <laughs> you is cute. <laughs> we could be cute together. You feel me? Mm, she's insane. Oh. Instead of standing here looking at the Hollywood sign, we could be watching the sunset in Bali. You been to Dubai? How did we go from Bali to Dubai? Two different places. Both of them we can go. <laughs> but nah, for real, I think we could make a power couple. I have a boyfriend. Like, what? <laughs> Ooh, I know. Standing on it. I'm talking so, imagine this. Me and you doing TikTok. This happened a lot. Together. You feel me? We'd be a, a crazy couple on there. 
Oh. <laughs> Alright, how about we just start like this? You just give me your number and I'll hit you up, set up a date sometime. Take you out. Don't do it. Get something to eat. I'm gonna go shopping like I said. And show you a good time. Don't do it. I'll give you my number Oh my god. Why not? Show you your number though. Why At the end of the day, it's about you and what you want. If you want me, don't. You shouldn't give the number. You already see he got like weird intentions going on, right? So it's like nah, like he can't even take the opportunity. It's already red flags being shown. The red flag, my flag, and the flag's already been thrown on the play. Like you keep telling that man you got a man, but he keep trying to push up on you. You can't get his number. Can't do no business with him unless she finna get his number just to like just so the conversation goes straight. Afterwards, she probably block it or some shit, probably. But other than that, man, nah, man. man. <laughs> Cause that's how things get. Mm. It's crazy view. It's hot. Forget that view. It's all yours. <laughs> Don't say your soul. Nah, nah it sounds sound crazy. I appreciate you for. Giving me the freedom to do so. I won't keep pressing the issue. Just know, you're welcome here whenever you feel me. And you can use the house to shoot content regardless of taking me up on this offer. Oh, of course, it's cold out here. I just hope you're not uncomfortable at all. That's all I'm saying. What you thinking? Oh my God, she took his number. Mm -hmm. Man, she rejected him a lot, but I don't know. <laughs> she, did reject him. She, she did reject him I like that part She actually stood up Like I said She might have just got his number Just to He could have He could have threw her over the balcony You know what I'm saying she, So she's just like Alright I'll take your number like, You never know Anything could happen You know what I'm saying You ain't there right now You you gone right now You know what I'm saying You supposed to be there That's why she like Nah let me come with you Like you, you tell her to stay And now you mad Cause she had to Ease the situation Just cause she don't know What's going on You feel me so don't, don't, it's all right. The number ain't, ain't even that important, to be honest. It's just, if anything happens afterwards, like what's the intentions on, why did you get the number, feel me? So as long as she block it, never use it, boom, we good, right? We good. Sometimes you gotta be that way. For, Cause for women, it's different. Like I said, you could've choked her up. Like, mm, like I said, you could've threw over the balcony, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Play better. And actually here, look. You can use this blanket. Here, sit down. I'm thinking that, like, because she knows I'm coming back. She doesn't want to try nothing. Mm. You think that's what it is? I think she's... Uh, Initially, she sounded like she was going to go for it, but she did bring you up. She did give him her number, though. Yeah. It's not the vibe, even though it's like nah, a no, it still kind of feels like, yes, yeah, why give you a number if you didn't like me? It feels like I should trip off this, but some of my mind is like, nah, like, you should, because... Something, this vibe definitely going on. You want something in the drink? Um, some juice or something? Oh, right, yeah, he's supposed to have a Starbucks. Okay. I mean, it's your man. Yeah, maybe. Check on him. Maybe just check on him. That's kind of true, actually. Maybe she just yeah. gave him her number just to, like, get him off her back. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think you should be giving anyone you your phone number like that. Honestly, uh, that's... You're not a girl. Shut up. You a guy. You, you're not going to understand, dude. And then you a big guy, like shut up. She's a small girl, bro. Anything can happen, bro. Chill out. <laughs> to call at the end of the day, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. It makes sense what you're saying. Yeah. Because low key, it was not a like, nah. I mean, if you want to continue this test too, we can continue the test. He can hit her up in three days or two days or something and be like, I think, hey, let's try this. Try to trust her. Have a driver home. <laughs> and then we'll have the decoy call. Well, let's try this. Try to trust her. How about that? Let's try that. How about that? Because sometimes it'd be, it'd be your own delusion. You know what I'm saying? And then you can blow situations out of proportion. Like how right now, you know what I'm saying? How about you just try to trust her and trust that she makes all the right choices, trust that God is helping her make the right choices in life, and then we're good to go. You feel me? Try to trust people. Try to. That might be that, you know what I'm saying? Not even might be. That is a problem. A lot of people don't trust people. Man, try to trust these people, man. Try to. One more time. And, and like ask her out. Yeah, ask her out. And she says yes, then... Hey, she ain't the one for me. But if she says no, then hey man, I'll give you the minute for the doubt. Okay. 
you wouldn't want to wait like a week or like no, a couple days. I don't want to have to wait for rest. something a couple days to see if she's loyal. I want to get over with. I mean, yeah, we could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Okay, let's make it happen. Chris needed some more reassurance that Ari was truly loyal, but he didn't want to keep the test going. Instead, he opted for a simple phone call. What up, bro? Hey. Oh, snap. Good luck, bro. So the plan now was for Chris to make up an excuse to leave and drop Ari off. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Ari. Oh, remember. <laughs> work together, what you mean? We were talking about working together. Maybe she didn't cheat because that's his boy. Maybe she didn't cheat because she knew that he was coming back. Or maybe she didn't cheat because she's loyal. Well, if it was me... I said she folded. You, you think she folded? I got it over, bro. I yeah, 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 that's it. Those little giggles, bro. She didn't tell me to stop. She said, I have a man. Uh, she's going for it, bro. She's yeah. going for it. It's, she didn't I don't think that. so. He was thinking it was like more because you're his boy. Yeah. Um, but that if it was a random dude and under different circumstances, she would have pulled He already said it's not a pass, though. Did he? He's more leaning on the side that it's not a pass. Yeah. But at the same time, he says that he wants to give her the benefit of the doubt. All right. So we're giving her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> we're going to do the last little straw to break the camera back. Yo, yo. So what's the deal, yo? Oh, I just dropped her off right now. Around the corner, so uh, let's make this happen. So, okay. <laughs> How is it on the ride home? Awkward? It was, uh, you know, we talked a little bit, you know, straight, but uh, I'm trying to keep it cool face, but you know, it's cool. it is, it is what it is. Did she bring anything up? Did she tell you that? Tony was hitting on her and stuff? She just basically said, um, it was cool. I said, what you guys talked about? She was like, well, nothing about more like TikTok content and stuff like that. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad, bro. She's supposed to tell you from A to Z exactly what the happened. That's horrible, bro. That's bad. That is horrible. I'm talking about she's supposed to spill the beans. If you if you the girl, you know what I'm saying? That's your girl, bro. That's supposed to be your wife, bro. That's someone you're supposed to take around your family and stuff. They supposed to spill the beans. They supposed to tell you everything. Ain't nothing supposed to be hidden. That's bad, bro. He's right. That is bad, bro. She's supposed to tell you everything. We went upstairs. Then he started talking about this. He started talking about that. Boom, bow, bow. I said this. I said that. She's supposed to tell you from A to Z exactly what happened. If it ain't that, that is bad. You can't trust that. No. I'm sorry. No. I mean, I think that's bad. I don't know. Do you think that's bad? I think that's yeah, bad. Yeah, she's probably trying to save face a little bit. They didn't want to blow up the spot if he was really about to move in. Mm, it's hard to call it, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, what? I mean, you, you don't want to move in. That's what I'm saying. You selling your soul to the devil. You see what I'm saying? If she knowing that's going around, that's how you moving. You feel me? That's your spot, but that's how you moving. You moving behind the scenes on, her, on, on your homie for his girl type. You know what I'm saying? She's supposed to blow that up. Like, no, you don't need to hang around him. And this is what's going on. What you mean? She's supposed to blow that up, bro. And this is what I'm saying. If you're going to marry somebody, how you going to marry somebody that ain't going to tell you what it is and what it ain't? That don't make sense. You know, lost your mind. All right, what, what you think, Chris? Call her now or wait till she gets settled? Let's do it right now. Okay. Right, for sure. There you go. Stay on standby, Chris. Your call has been forwarded to an oh, you hear that, Chris? That's a good sign so far. So far. <laughs> she doesn't know the number, though. I got her. She didn't get mine, so. You want to text her? Like, hey, it's a... Uh... As we try to get a hold of Ari, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this test. Was this a pass or a fail to you? Let me know before you hear the phone call, because what happens next may actually surprise some of you. Hey, what's up? What's up? Not much. It's Tony. Oh, hey. Uh, this was calling to see if you made it home safe. Yeah, I know I'm safe. Bet, bet. Chris still with you? Uh, no. All right, bet, bet. Well, uh, I just wanted to call again and just check about what we were talking about earlier, you know. I offered to take you out. I just to let you know that offer is still staying. Oh my God. Look, look, I know, I know. I sound like a broken record, I know. But this is my last time asking, you feel me? If it's a no, it's a no. I'll bow out gracefully. Mm -hmm. 
I promise. We can go out with me just one time. Like I said, dinner. If you want, we can go shopping. I already put the offer on the table. You can see where the night takes us. Honestly, I have so much to do right now. Who said anything about today? Look, we don't gotta rush it. I got time. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you know then. So that's a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. <laughs> 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 don't even make sense. Uh, yeah, like you said, I'm persistent. Look. Y'all don't know what snakes in your grass look like? Y'all don't know about cutting the snakes out your grass? Y'all don't know what snakes look like? Y'all don't know what snakes... Like, Y'all don't know what that look like? You know, a, a, a coyote in sheep clothing? Y'all don't know what those sayings? Y'all don't know what that look like in real life as a person? You know what I'm saying? Reptilians? Y'all don't know what that, all that stuff look like and how that feels and that type of energy? Like, y'all falling for nothing. Like, you just fell for nothing. Oh my gosh. Buddy don't even own the house. You fell literally for a whole dream. Oh my gosh. He got one chain on. If you do, you got hold on, hold on, hold on. What the f what the f is this? Hold on, you're on mute. My bad, bro. Why are you accepting dates? What the f you doing? I mean, you call this loyal? Man, you know who the f this is? You accepting dates? Oh my God, I'm and my guy, my ass. What's going on? You want to be accepting dates by my friend? Wait, you tell me you're still on the phone? Man, I'm, I'm okay, here too, yes. You said, you said. Okay, well. I mean, this is called lawyer? I don't know what the f they talk. Oh, shit. I mean, this is called lawyer? She coughed, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she got caught in a lie. You can tell. She said, okay, well, <laughs> like. Remember how we tell y'all about those body movements in science? Like when people lying, they start looking up to the side. They start, you know, they can't look directly at you. They can't focus directly on you and look at you and talk to you directly. They got to look all this way. They start twitching. Legs start moving. <coughs> start coughing. All this bullshit start happening. This is the body reacting to the lie. They start scratching their nose, twisting it with shit. That's lying. That's all. You can tell when somebody lying. It's a lie detector. It's easy. They start doing all this weird stuff and moving in the chair like, can you sit still? Oh, man. That is bad, bro. I don't know what the f*** they're talking about. Like, you're trying to tell me what the f*** I'm talking about. Bro, you literally... You're trying to mess with me. Why are you trying to come for me? You need to be coming for me. Bro, because I have to, because you accepted a date by somebody else. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Bro, I'm going to hear it. Everybody, this is a whole test. We all been checking on you. Like that. Where did you mess with me like that? Who's trying to mess with me? It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're supposed to mess with me, though. We're supposed to be together. Why are you? He's supposed to be together. Right He's doing his job. What's going on? I'm talking about what about us? Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Hey, what you mean, okay? She clicked. She clicked. She clicked. She clicked. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, my G. I'm sorry I had to go out like that, but... I mean, the whole reason you was doing this is because you didn't have me, feel me, complete trust in it, so... At least you knew before you went further. He probably already knew. That's the only reason why he wanted to get on the show. He probably already been new. It's like you be already knowing. You just gotta like most people don't trust their instinct. Like you already know. But the thing about it is, like, you gotta understand that everybody is free. There's no chains on us, bro. Everybody is free to do whatever they want. If they want to experience something right now, I'm at let's say I'm at the club right now and I want to experience something. I can do whatever I want, you know what I'm saying, regardless of repercussions or not. And the thing about it is, at the end of the day, with that being said, why would you even care? You shouldn't even worry about it, you know what I'm saying? 
unless, again, you got principles and morals, right? You got certain principles and laws and rules that you don't put on your life for whatever reason possible. I don't even know why you would do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're free. You know what I'm saying? But you want to put rules and principles on your life. Well, that's totally fine. Okay. So now you got to find somebody that's going to match those same rules and principles, right? And if they don't, guess what? It ain't that they're a bad person. They just live differently. They just different. Everybody's different. Nobody, everybody, we all don't have to do the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We all don't. We don't have to live the same way. We just don't. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can be different. Everybody can be themselves. And, and the more that you be yourself, the more that God appreciates you because he made us all differently, obviously. You know what I'm saying? We're not robots. We don't, we don't all look the same. We're not monkeys. We don't all do the same stuff. No. We're all human beings having a human experience, right? Come on, bro. So with that being said, if she wants to do whatever she want to do, let her do it. If he want to do whatever he want to do, let him do it. But y'all got to come to some type of middle agree agreement. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's totally fine. Don't judge nobody. That's why they say show unconditional love. Because we all want to experience certain things. We might have certain fantasies. We got certain dreams. We got all this different stuff going on. But you got to communicate that. See what I'm saying? So if she would have told him the story about what happened upstairs, if she would have told him straight up, like, he's trying to do this, boom, 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 work with me, boom, 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 da, 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 it would have been a different story. But the fact that she didn't say none of that. And then Buddy calls in and is like, yo, trying to press the issue. Yo, can we still go on that date? It's like she should have stood. If she was on the stand on it before, she should have kept standing on it. was like, no, I told you I got a boyfriend and I'm about to block your number because you still being weird. Goodbye. It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because she added the trouble situation now. It ain't like she's stuck there with him. So we ain't talking about that. Cause remember before we were saying that. Of course, that was a situation. But now it's like this is after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Everybody at home now. Man, she should have stood on it and was like, no, I have a boyfriend. I told you that. Blocked his number. Called her man. Was like, yo. He would have like, yo, she called me right now. And then, yo, they was on the phone. was like, uh the dude from earlier, your friend, he tried to hit on me and this and this will happen and they would have sit there on the phone laughing why he gonna try to hit on you da da da, y'all man talk it out together y'all have laughed it out and then he would have situated that with the homeboy, he'd have been like yo you know what I'm saying, we, we can't be cool no more whatever the case may be, however he was on situation that, you know what I'm saying, but it would have worked out but the fact that it was too much uh, conniving going on, too much backstabbing going on, too much, it was too much going on, for real, for I ain't even gonna count like, that's crazy. You can't tell that man what happened. That's crazy. I would have man, you gotta tell from A to Z. Got to. Otherwise they feel like you hiding something. And he probably felt that way throughout the whole relationship. And that's why he wanted to bring on the show. It only makes sense. You see what I'm saying? He got worked up so far that he like, man, let me let me bring this girl on the show because I feel like something going on. But it's okay. For her. And any other body, anybody else watching, it's a learning experience for all of us. It ain't even nothing bad. This is all learning. So she learned, we learn, we learn how to treat people. You know what I'm saying? All of us ain't got that that instilled into us. And sometimes we gotta get hit over the head. Sometimes we gotta get hit over the head a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we get knocked down a couple of times to get back up. And now we know what to do in a relationship, or now we know how to be right, which is totally fine. You know what I'm saying? That's life, the experience. That's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody did nothing wrong, really. You know what I'm saying? We just experiencing life, bro. For real, for real. If you if you can, if she, if she's sorry about the mug, I mean, she did accept the date now. So if she's sorry, she learned from her experience. She ain't never gonna accept the date from another guy. She see that that's, you know, what I'm saying something that you don't like, even if it's business or not. You know, what I'm saying that you don't accept that, and you know, what I'm saying you don't want her doing stuff like that. Then cool, y'all can still work it out. But if she like nah. It was a friendly day, and we was going to talk about business, and she don't like how you approaching her on that type of type of stuff. Then it's like, okay, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to, okay, cool. She can go out on the little dates, little coffee, little teas with the, with the CEOs, and she can do business. If you trust her in that situation, then boom, then you're good. But if, if you can't trust her, you're like, nah, I ain't trusting now. I don't want you around, which you probably shouldn't. Uh, you probably shouldn't. Not let her go. Obviously, she want to go for opportunities. She going to talk to these CEOs. You want her to do that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to kind of be more lean and be more trusted into her that she going to make the right decisions just like she did today. 
she stood on it. She said, I got a man, I got a man, boom, boom, boom. They want to shoot no content right now, so she stood on it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's a sticky situation in the middle of this thing right here, right? But most of it is just simple communication. Communication. If she would have told him what was going on from the beginning, even with that phone conversation, her accepting the date, you know what I'm saying? She's accepting the date for, you know what I'm saying, business. Like, they're going out for some tea, they're going out for some coffee, it's something simple, and it's for business. It's, just, it's still a date, regardless of what you say or not, you know what I'm saying? Um, it would have been okay. But the fact that she did not say nothing to her man, it's just like, and now he arguing with you, he mad, because it's almost like he ain't knowing you, he's like, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Make sure y'all speak up. As soon as something happens, pick up that phone. Be like, yo, back. Man, I was at the stone, man. Tell me why that girl was trying to hop down on me. Like, she was trying to hop down on you. Be like, man, yeah, man. She tried to push up on me. You know what's going on, man. I had to stand strong. I mean, I'm on the way back, though. I'll be back in like 15, 20 minutes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it real. That way she know what's going on. So when you get back, she not like, you know what I mean? Feeling like, what you, what you got going on? You all right? Like, she ain't questioning you and stuff like that. If you keep it real. Now, when, she, when you get back, she like, what that girl look like? Why she was trying to talk to you? Da, 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 da. Now, now y'all having a good conversation about it. It ain't nothing weird. It ain't nothing crazy going on. The same vice versa. If you're a girl, because you, sometimes you got to get your number out. So you're a girl. As soon as after that happened, call your man. Bay. Man, this dude was trying to talk to me. I had to give him my number. I'm going to block him, though. Like, be straight up. You still like, you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't left the parking lot yet. You got to let him know. So that way, when you get back to the crib, just in case the dude might freaking call or he trying to text some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, you you, you already know what's going on. But y'all got to do it exactly when that junk happened. You got to let people know or you got to go ahead and nip it in the bud as quick as possible. You know what I'm saying? You can't let it let it linger on because it's linger on. Now it's leaving it's leaving a little bit of the residue behind, you know what I'm saying? And then the kill get you caught up in some shit that wasn't even it. It wasn't even, it wasn't even this bad of a situation. But the fact that it was a little bit lingering on, it's like, damn, look what it turned out to be. See what I'm saying? But I only, I only know that because I've been through so much. <laughs> I only know that I'm just like, well, I see the communication is the problem, literally. So as soon as stuff happened, Hey, they can be right there in front of. Hey, uh, uh, back. Uh, is somebody trying to talk to me? I don't know. He can't get. He ain't getting out my face. I don't know what's going on. Like, like you. Do 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 do. Nine one one. Uh, it's this dude. He will not leave me alone. Like, hey, you gotta start. Hey, you better call on some help. Don't just be letting these people just willy nilly. Just you see what I'm saying? Come on, bro. I'm just trying. Hey. You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good. Give her a chance. Like, don't, For sure, give her a chance. I don't think it's that bad. I should have held back a little bit. Held some until like, I met her in person, you know? Nah, you're good, Chris. Nah, you're good, bro. If you wanted to, if you wanted to end this, you could, you're good. You're good, bro. You're good. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, I, hey, look, I heard enough. I'm from her, everything I needed. I mean, I knew it, man. I called it, man. Well, it is what it is. There's plenty more fish in the sea, so you just keep on swimming. Let her keep on digging. Yeah, she was not digging. That was bad. Y'all are crazy. And all right, all right. I understand, all right. Don't worry about it. Like I said, hey, bro, talk to your girl, bro, and communicate to her, bro. Like, you tripping. Anyway, see y'all in the next one. Y'all tripping. <laughs> he said there's more fish in the sea. No, it ain't. You, no, it ain't. You're going to notice it ain't. Yeah. Don't, don't get stuck into that. And don't be listening to these other men. I'm telling you that right now because they'll be the main ones who started talking about other fish in the sea. They'll be the main ones still. Like, right after the show, he's still going to probably call and text her. They'll be the main ones still trying to talk to him. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about more fish in the sea. Yeah, they, they be quick to try to get you out of the relationship just so they can talk to your girl. Like, come on now. Don't be listening to these people, man. You got to listen to your heart. What your heart telling you to do? What God telling you to do? Forget what these other people telling you because they're they going to tell you anything. I'm saying that right now. All right, y'all. We out. Peace. <laughs>